If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Passion is energy. Feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. Africa Business Radio, towards a profitable Africa. You're listening to Africa Business Radio, where you get up-to-date insights on the Africa business landscape. Log on to www.africabusinessradio.com. Your favorite shows are available as podcasts. Download them on our website and mobile app. Africa Business Radio, towards a profitable Africa. They are 1.8 billion globally. They will make 75% of workforce by 2025. They will outspace earnings of baby boomers in less than 10 years. Smartphones and tablets are the argument settlers and fact checkers for every conversation. Get more insights on African millennials on Africa Business Radio towards a profitable Africa. All righty, welcome to another edition of the African Millennial Radio Show on African Business Radio. I have had a very, very interesting time so far. I mean, talking about the importance the qualities the strength the the drive of african millennials has been a huge 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 opportunity for me especially when i'm discussing it with people who who have done so many great things in the african millennial space right now um we have really many topics coming on i mean um i, I was having a conversation with an hr specialist you know, and then he's 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 done so many works with Africans um, in organizations in Africa, in South Africa, in the West also, and he's had this very very large experience. You know, trying to balance the quality of the baby boomers, the um, Gen X, and also the millennials, and it's it's been a very very interesting interesting insight. It's going to be around on some of the episodes coming later on, so let's stay tuned. On today's edition, we're going to be talking about the creative strategy loan, right? Some creative industry loan. So we have the federal government come up with some interesting things for the creative industry some some months ago, and they said that the creative strategy, I mean, the creative industry needs some funding, and what they have done is to release, I think, about five hundred million or something like that to 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 finance the growth of the creative industry. We have interesting people in the studio today to, to talk about that. Um, before, before we go into that, let's have a little bit of a break and then we'll get back into so much of talk with that. Stay tuned. It's the African Millennial Radio Show with Tommy Wale. Yeah. They are 1.8 billion globally. They will make 75% workforce by 2025. They will outspace earnings of baby boomers in less than 10 years. Smartphones and tablets are the argument settlers and fact checkers of every conversation. Get more insights on African millennials on Africa Business Radio towards a profitable Africa. They are 1.8 billion globally. They will make 75% workforce by 2025. 
that will outpace earnings of baby boomers in less than 10 years. Smartphones and tablets are the argument settlers and fact checkers of every conversation. Get more insights on African millennials on Africa Business Radio towards a profitable Africa. is here. The future has just been uploaded on the cloud. To download it into your consciousness, listen to 989 Tech Talk only on Africa Business Radio. 989 Tech Talk with Michelle. Passion is energy. Feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. Africa Business Radio. Towards a profitable Africa. They are 1.8 billion globally. They will make 75% of workforce by 2025. They will outspace earnings of baby boomers in less than 10 years. Smartphones and tablets are the argument settlers and fact checkers for every conversation. Get more insight on African millennials on Africa Business Radio towards a profitable Africa. All right, you're welcome. Um we're going to be talking about interesting things today. So um, the creative strategy loan is something that has been on my mind for a very, very long time. Uh, so first of all, we all know what entertainment has been. So it's creative uh, industry. Of course, entertainment um, industry is part of it. We have the fashion, we have the movies, we have Nollywood, we have everything about that. Now, the federal government sat back and looked at the potential of what the young people in Africa could be, I mean, Nigeria could be, especially the energies we have and how we've been able to finance things ourselves and get results done, especially taking African entertainment to the world right now, something that the world has always, or something that the world is trying to be part of right now. So um, before then, I need us to talk about what different generations has been. There's been the baby boomers. These people live between, or they were born between 1945 and 1964. We have the Gen X. They were born between 1965 and about 1980. Then we have the millennial generation born between the early 1980s and um, a bit of the mid-1990s. So you can say 96. And we have the Gen Z, born between about 96 and 2005. Now let's go into the qualities of each of these generations. So the baby boomers were born just after the Second World War, right? So the world needed a lot of structure or things to balance on or things to at least live with and grow industries and grow economies with. So baby boomers came into the scene and then I started creating what we have today. So created hospitals, created roads, created industries, created uh, the things that have sustained the luxury of cars today. And then they needed people to hold that and then lay the bricks up on what they've created. Then the Gen X came into the scene. So the quality of the Gen X is they are very, 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 very organizational operation, if there's a word like that, oriented. So what they do is they come to work, they ensure that what is given to them is done well, and then they go back home. They are ready with everything they have to ensure that they, they bring results back to 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 the boss who has told them to get things done. They are hardly rebels when it comes to instructions. They would sit down there. If you tell me, pick this brick up, put it there, make sure it is two centimeters long and four centimeters wide. They would sit down and ensure that it is done to every jot and tittle. Now, that's when turn and then they built beautiful edifices, right? So the Gen X were the ones that really ensure that the structural edifice of the oil and gas organizations, the petroleum organizations, the banking and everything we have today was solidified. Now, millennials came into the scene and then we were born or we were adolescents around the time where the internet started getting popular. Right. So, um, a millennial would, would, would be on his phone a lot instead of being with the family at 
at TV time in the evening. A millennial would lock himself in the room or lock herself in the room and just keep checking things on the phone. Now, what was happening was we were getting introduced to a lot of things going on in other parts of the world. And that started shaping a lot of how we thought, a lot of how we perceive things. That is shaping our our, our, our thoughts or our disposition of what excellence should be. But then the older generation didn't grow up this way. So what they now started doing was it sounded like a bit of mockery or a bit of correction like what are you always doing on your phone you don't talk to anybody you don't do this we were trying to get social with the outside world but then a weakness in that was we were losing a lot of things with our interpersonal relationships so that's a weakness of course with with millennials which we'll deal with later on now millennials got exposed to things happening in other parts of the world and it's fostered a huge creativity creativity juice in us so we now started creating things so instead of sitting in the office like the gen x we thought that we could get things done better so you've seen things done in a different region a different way you want to introduce it to your space someone has seen something done in texas for example wants to introduce it in chicago someone has seen something done in south africa for example wants to introduce it in liberia so we started looking as though we were rebels to the organizational structure that has happened and we started creating our own things fast forward 15 years down the line we are here today we have done good with what we've done i mean i heard that the best uh, or the most valuable organizations in the world now are tech companies which have a large part of their workforce as millennials people who are always ready to question the status quo and create things by themselves bring it out to the local scene now we have the entertainment industry that has never or the creative industry that has never had this much of attention or expression from Africa right we have in the entertainment industry we have the likes of the David and the Whiskey in the Nollywood or the um, film industry we have the likes of Genevieve Energy and Sudia Falayon who have done beautiful things and in fact do you know that <laughs> the Oscar has nominated Lion Heart, Lion Heart to most likely get an award I think the Oscar is in December, right? Or January. The next Oscar, anyways, we just pray that Genevieve gets that award. That is what a millionaire has been able to do. So the federal government has has seen this. Of course, a government is a governor that is to stare and direct the affairs of the state. So, millionaires have given the government an affair. The government has seen it, and then they now want to drop their input in it. So they release some money, release some funds funds into that. So I'm just going to be talking about what the funds is about let's have a short break and i'll be back into that conversation so we're going to talk about the amount of money the um the loan terms the terms and conditions and how to get that loan and maybe a bit of um a bit of itches here and there about that loan let's have a little break and i'll be back in a bit yeah They are 1.8 billion globally. They will make 75% workforce by 2025. They will outspace earnings of baby boomers in less than 10 years. Smartphones and tablets are the argument settlers and fact checkers of every conversation. Get more insights on Africa millennials on Africa Business Radio towards a profitable Africa. They are 1.8 billion globally. They will make 75% workforce by 2025. They will outspace earnings of baby boomers in less than 10 years. Smartphones and tablets are the argument settlers and fact checkers of every conversation. Get more insights on Africa millennials on Africa Business Radio towards a profitable Africa. All right, you welcome back. It's been a lot of I feel like a teacher right now talking about the boomers, the Gen X and and the millennials. But um so maybe because my background is more from the creative industry, the creative sector. I'm really particular about this loan and I think you out there should 
think about the possibilities of being a part of this of this offer by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Yeah. So a bit about it. The Creative Sector Loan is a Central Bank of Nigeria initiative aimed at capacity building and employment creation for individuals and businesses currently into any of these following areas. So we have the fashion, we have the information technology, we have the movie production, we have the movie distribution, which is a very, very important part as regards um, piracy, for example. We have music and we have software engineering student loan so we have some students who who build softwares or who have this idea around how to get things done better with information technology they can also access this loan so you have that 200 level student you have that third year level student even if you have some affiliations with nigeria i think you should get a friend in nigeria see how you can be a part of this loan and then grow your craft grow your thoughts grow what is burning inside you all night and then maybe you just don't have any means to finance that there's a creative sector loan by the central bank of nigeria available right now now the benefits include a low-cost single digit funding for your business flexible structure and repayment plans opportunity to achieve your long-term business goals excellent financial advisory service so when you say of course a low-cost single digit funding for your business it's a joy of anybody who wants to pick a loan you don't want to hear things like 10 percent 15 percent it's it can be quite high doing the calculation over time but then you have a single digit and you know what's this single digit just a nine percent nine percent interest rates i think that's a good one by the central bank of nigeria i guess all right so you can get a loan or um, you can get a loan of up to three million naira for software engineering students so software engineering students that boy that girl those that group of folks in that basement somewhere in that university okay when i say basement i said it oh you so we have a lot of basements that were rude i'm sorry that's why basement came to my head not like some dangerous thing happening okay Maybe in uni, like you have the students in the classroom. In uni, just you could have the students maybe in the open courtyard. In um, Kwame Nkrumah University, you could have students maybe, I don't know, where you guys hang out. Wherever you are, there's a 3 million naira loan from the Central Bank of Nigeria that you can access, right, to grow your software as a student or push it. Now, there's a 30 million naira for movie production business right so you have this beautiful story you're trying to do you have this thing about and beautiful thing is if you're writing stories about if you're an african movie producer or a storyteller i think this is the time to talk about a lot of history from from africa especially from nigeria talk about stories about the around the pre-colonial era of your of your country for example you know talk about stories around the pre-colonial era it would educate people this is what such movies would do it would bring back history to the minds of people to it will educate the younger people and then to reinforce who we are in the minds of the kids right and the minds of the older people that we have also it will bring a whole nation together and make us understand who we are where we are coming from and hopefully give us a sense of direction about where we're going we have the 500 millionaire for movie distribution business now this is where i am very very concerned about you know what it takes for you to work on a movie production I'm going to talk Lagos, for example. So you've done all of that. You've paid your actors. You've had sleepless nights of editing and lighting. You've had all of those things going. You've done a beautiful movie pre- premiere. You've pulled that off. You've gotten sponsors and partners from different parts of the country and even the world to work on it. Then one interesting afternoon, you're just driving down the famous Ozumba, Umbadiwewe, and then you see your movie on the rack of one vendor on the express how would you feel now let's 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 work on things like that so there's a 500 million loan for movie distribution i think that uh, a lot of what a lot of african uh, movie producers are doing right now is to at least get the movie on netflix that looks like a very very beautiful distribution plan so at least keep your movie viewership or the viewership around your movie bringing in some some revenue for you so there's a 500 million naira loan anyways for that you should look at the option too then of course cover your rental stroke or service fees for fashion and information technology business so you have this 
book of sketches that you've done, right? And then you need a space to work. There's a loan to get rental spaces or services to ensure that all your crafts, all the things in your sketchbooks are coming to live also. You should access that. And then, of course, cover your training fees. Training is a very, very important thing. I'm big on trainings. You can't know it all, right? You can't use the the successful or the pro knowledge of horse riding to determine the sustainability of the invention of a car. So you might think you know how to do something before just because that thing was good and you were good at it. Times change. There are new things being invented every day. You need to learn how to take up that opportunity or take up the learning opportunity. Learn about the new things happening somewhere and then bring it back into your craft and you know push things out. Now to access this loan Prepare your business plan or statement on how much you want for your business. I would advise you to get a very good business business analyst on your team. Get a very good lawyer on your team. Get everyone needed to ensure that the business is going really good on your team. Right. The second thing you should do is present these things to a number of competent people before going to the bank or anywhere at all. Do a self-presentation for yourself. Imagine you are an investor and you want to give yourself a millionaire. Is that idea you've written, is it good enough? Ask people questions. Get people to critique and scrutinize every single thing you've done. Right. So, of course, go to any bank with the above-mentioned documents. A representative of the bank will contact you for further discussions and process your loans. Right. Now, the maximum interest rate of 9% per annum on all, all charges inclusive is applicable on all loans. The repayment premium is a maximum of 3 years for software engineering students, 10 years for movie production and distribution, fashion, information, technology and music. I mean, this is something that the Central Bank of Nigeria, I believe, have done to contribute to the growth of African millennials in Africa and of course globally also so guys outside the country this is something happening you need to be in this space so there are so many opportunities going on here of course there are people that you should contact of course to get more information about it about this there's an interesting person who is a friend of mine his name is Chuk Sunesis you can contact him on Twitter at Mr. Sunesis he was at the just concluded Nigerian Economic Summit where he asked questions about things like this and how it's possible to push the creative sector loan into the air better and get people to be on this loan the right way. You should also talk to, of course, he's been on this show, uh, I think some two weeks ago or last week. His name is Badak Kintude Johnson. He's the country manager for Viacom. He has a huge knowledge about that also. Talk to these two people. Let them give you the let them give you some advice on how to go about this of course contact the central bank of nigeria also for more information about it i think um, other banks any bank in nigeria right now is part of it Uh, i'm going to come back to this it's a huge opportunity for the creative sectors especially for african millennials i'm saying i'm placing a lot of emphasis on this because one of the qualities of millennials is our creative energy right and some people are ready to offer a loan nine percent a single digit you know interest (laughs) over the next between three and ten years i think that's something interesting so talk to the cbn on this talk to your banker on this but in private individuals i would suggest but i to the johnson and mr sinesis to explain further on things to do you can find but i can today johnson on twitter as but i can today j you can talk to trick sinesis on twitter as mr sinesis talk to these guys they would um, give you more information on that and Let's scroll, let's scroll. I'll be back, let's have a little bit of a short break and I'll be back in a bit, yeah. Technology 
is everywhere. It is changing everything so fast that many no longer remember what it is like to live without technology. You might even say, the whole world is mad about tech. Welcome to 989 Tech Talk, only on Africa Business Radio. Um. They are 1.8 billion globally. They will make 75% of workforce by 2025. They will outspace earnings of baby boomers in less than 10 years. Smartphones and tablets are the argument settlers and fact checkers for every conversation. Get more insights on African millennials on Africa Business Radio towards a profitable Africa. That's <laughs> cool on the beat. All right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my. What I call it a TED Talk. Or what? Not a TED Talk. No, this is Africa Business Radio. This is African Millennial Radio Show. I'm sorry, producer. <laughs> All right. So we've talked about the um, the loan, right? It's a very, very. I think it's a very, very good thing if you're willing to grow in Africa. Now, there's something else also. So it's one thing for you to be in business. It's another thing for you to know how to market it better. Get Up Inc. is a company that is huge on creative strategy and millennial insight. And there's the African Millennial Report coming a bit now. Why the African Millennial Report? It's simple. You can come up with numbers and say maybe, for example, for example, maybe there are X amount of internet users in Africa, right, or in Nigeria, or in Kenya, or in Morocco, or in Liberia, or in Zambia. Right, but the question is, would this exact amount of people want to use their ATMs online? So that brings the question of behavioral patterns into your marketing decision process. Right, so Get Up Inc. is working on a report called the African Millennial Report that talks about the behavioral patterns of African millennials on the internet. It's a simple thing. Be a part of this. Go on getupinc.com, take the survey, ensure that you try to answer about the 20 questions there about the report is going to be free in january right so that organizations can pick this report look at it and then know how to market better you can take the survey on www.getupinc.com everything i've talked about today is to reinforce the value of the african millennial generation right there's the generation z there's the gen x there's the boomers but we african millennials are the ones that should be creating the future of things if you're really willing to put your organization in the next five to ten years when it comes to how relevant the organization should be you should be concerned about what the gen z and the millennials are thinking of right now you should be concerned about their behavioral patterns you should be concerned about how we think how we get things done so get on um get on the creative strategy loan right Get on a lot of studies on the different generations. Understand how these people are. Understand Africa through the African millennial generation because we are the ones that ensure that anything that is happening in Africa would be online right now. Understand us and then, of course, watch your business grow. I've had a very beautiful time with everybody in the studio today. I've had a very wonderful time with you, my listeners. It's been a very, very hot Friday afternoon in the coastal city of Lagos, Nigeria. I will be out right now, and I'll be back in about ten, five days' time on Wednesday next week, where we're going to go deep into the human resources perspective of the value of African of millennials, really, globally. And we have a very interesting guest coming up to, to talk about that. All right. Thank you for a wonderful time. Take the survey on getupping.com. Talk to Mr. Sunesis and Badakin today, Johnson, about the creative strategy loan, and then have a very beautiful weekend. Bye.
Welcome to 99 Tech Talk. This show is an affiliation with Africa Business Radio, your number one online radio station. 99 Tech Talk covers all things tech in the agricultural space. My name is Michelle. I am mad about tech. <gasps> no. <laughs> Oh, this feels like the final football match between two soccer warriors. Oh my god, can somebody please tell me what the African formation is? Oh, oh, it's 442. Africa Business Radio. Towards a profitable Africa.